Brian, yeah. I'm about to start. Wish me luck. Okay, so what is going on, you guys? Brandon here, aka Brawadis. And what's today? Today's Friday. I hope you guys are all having an amazing Friday. For everybody in school, weekend's about to start, so I'm sure you guys are happy. Everybody else, Friday is usually the best day of the week, so I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday. Today's video, I'm bringing you guys something that I myself have never done before. I've never tried this before, and I will admit, I'm pretty nervous. This, <laughs> for whatever reason, I'm extremely nervous to record this video. First of all, this was not my idea. I just want to give a shout out to my boy Ramsey or Arfahel because he did this video and he gave me the idea to do this video. So shout out to you, Ramsey. On a side note, I miss you and Emil. So you guys gotta come back down here soon. Oh, I'm sure a bunch of other YouTubers have done this before. I didn't make this video up. I'm not stealing anybody's idea. I know uh, this group of guys, N-E-L-K, do these types of videos. So today I'm going to be calling in sick to places that I don't even work at. So this should be a funny video. I'm gonna call a few places and just pretty much give them reasons why I can't show up to work and I don't even work there. I'm hoping you guys enjoy this video. If you think you're gonna enjoy this video, drop a like. If you wanna wait till the end of this video to judge me, then you can drop a like after that. Let's get started. First place I'm gonna call, guys, wait. I am so nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Even though this isn't face to face and this is just over the phone, you would think, oh, it's easy, who cares, it's just over the phone. No, I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely nervous to do this. Even though I'm not doing this face to face, it's still extremely nerve wracking. First, I'm going to be calling McDonald's, okay? And I'm gonna go with the name Mm, let's go with Frank. Frank is sick and can't make it into work today. Oh, by the way, guys, I did get a new phone. People who watch my videos know my last phone was broken. Just, just, just broken. So I got a new phone yesterday, iPhone 7 Jet Black. Finally, my first new phone in almost three years. Brian, I'm so nervous. Yeah, it would be too. Okay, Brian, I'm about to call. Mm. Arrowhead water is so disgusting, I swear. Arrowhead water tastes like breath, like bad breath. I was wondering if I can speak with a manager really quick. Uh, this is the manager right here. Oh, um, well, my name is Frank. I just got hired recently about a week ago, and I have a shift. You got hired? Yeah, I just got hired there, and I have a shift okay. tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, okay. I'm not going to be able to make it in. I'm not sure if that's okay with you guys or... Well, any any uh, reason or... Well, I just feel really, really sick. Well, what's your name? It's Frank. Frank? Uh-huh. All right, what was your shift? My shift, honestly, I'd be lying to you if I told you I knew it. I just got hired. I'm not exactly sure what time I was supposed to work. So you're just, you're just not going to come then? That's, okay, fine. I'll tell, I'll tell, the, uh, I'll tell Ron. Well, okay, uh, you seem like a cool guy, so do you mind if I tell you the real reason I'm not going to show up? Yeah, sure. Uh, a bunch of my friends invited me to go to a strip club and I just don't want to be a, a, a bunch of my friends invited me to go to a strip club and I don't want to be that guy who doesn't show up just because I have work, you know? Uh, yeah. We, but but if you're going to tell I mean, the boss. We, we can't do anything, so really, I mean, you can do whatever you want. But to be if honest, you, I'm, I'm not going to be here for very long. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, do you want to come through? No, 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 no. Oh. Um, it's fine. Yeah, sure. Okay, but can you, if you're gonna tell the boss, can you not tell no, my... No, I'm not gonna tell the boss anything. Oh. Don't worry, man. I got you. I don't oh. really care. Alright, bro. You're, if, you wanna, if you wanna come through, I'll give you my number. You could come through. No, it's all good. <laughs> Alright, bro. Well, I appreciate you doing this. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Just, uh, just know that he is gonna suspect something, so... Oh, even if we tell uh, him that I'm sick? After tomorrow, just be on the straight and narrow, you know what I mean? Just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't do this often, but it's, bro, a strip club no, and... I, so, yeah, I got it, yeah. I got it, bro. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you, though. Definitely have a great day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Brian. Holy shit. That's okay. crazy. Brian, that was extremely ner I was... Why am I so nervous? This isn't even face-to-face. -face. Wait, first of all, that was rude. I invited him to go to a strip club with me. He didn't want to show up, so... Hopefully, I get used to this because it's... I'm very nervous. Subway. We could do a Subway call right now. My name's Devin today for Subway. Shout out Devin Booker. That's why my name's Devin. Mm. If you drink Arrowhead water, I don't trust you. Hi, thank you for calling Chloe. How may I help you? Um, hi. I was wondering if I can please speak with a manager. Yeah, can you want... Hi, this can I help you? Hey, um, my name is Devin. I just got hired there a couple of days ago, and I had a shift tomorrow, and um, okay. I don't... I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. I just wanted to call to give a little heads up. Okay, let me give you my 
Maria's number. Uh huh. Well, you can her. I'm kind. Of, is she like the boss or the schedule maker? She's the owner. Um, is it, is it fine if you pass the message to her? Because I'm kind of scared to talk to her myself. No, you, it's better for you to talk to her than me. Well, <laughs> if you knew the reason why I'm calling out, then I don't think I should be talking to her myself. That's why I'd rather have someone pass the message for me. Um, well... Do you want... I just don't <laughs> want to be the person. Well, I mean, if you want to know the reason, just so you know why I don't want to tell her, then if you want to know. Because I just turned 18 years old, and you only have to be 18 to go to a strip club. So a group of my friends invited me to go to a strip club, and I just don't want to be that guy who doesn't show up because I have work, you know? Oh, well, that's not going to be good enough reason for her. Well, no, no, no. Well, I don't want to tell her that. I want someone to tell her that I'm sick. That's why I want to get through to somebody else just to tell her for me, because I'm not a good liar. Oh, and I am? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm. Ho I was hoping you were. Um. Okay, I'm gonna. It's just. It's a bad I'll look. For you, okay. I'll tell her that you're not gonna make it tomorrow because you're not. You're, you're sick. Are you sure? I'm gonna say you need to call her. Are you sure you're not gonna tell on me? No, I'm not gonna say nothing. Well, you seem like honestly a really cool person. So if you wanna come through tomorrow, you could come through. It's just me and the guys. I appreciate you not telling on me. So if you wanna come through, have some fun. You could come through. Oh, no, no, no. No? Thank you. Oh, no, you're welcome. Uh, and what's your name? I'm sorry. My name is Devin. Devin Booker. Then you're supposed to start at this store tomorrow? Yeah, this was going to be my first day. That's why it's a really bad look, so I don't want to call myself. But you know what? It'll look better if you call than me telling you. Telling what? I thought you were going to... I thought you were going to... You said you were going to tell her. But what I'm saying is it's going to... It's going to sound better coming from you than it is I'm, from me. I am so nervous. You don't understand. Like, I am not a good liar. I've been caught in so many lies with my parents ever since I was a kid. And I just... Here, how about this? You think I should just show up to work and not go to the strip club? Probably, because she's not going to be real happy on your first day you're not starting. No matter what you do. But imagine I'm making a sandwich for someone and the whole time going through my head, I'm just like, damn, I could have been at the strip club right now. And I'm just... I don't yeah, think I'm... You can go there anytime. Yeah, but with all my boys... The uh, I just feel like if I'm there at work, I'm not going to be putting my full effort into making people sandwiches, and I don't want to, like, be a dick. I'm not going to say nothing, but I'm saying is, is that you're going to look better calling yourself. Okay, fine. I'll do that myself. But it might sound like I'm a really bad person just from our first talk, but I'm actually a really good kid, so when I do meet you, whenever that may be, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. No, uh, no, I'm oh, not okay. like that. Oh, okay. I'll let you, I'll let... Uh, no, I'll find it. Thank you, though. I'll let you know how it goes my first day of work. You're not gonna get her number because it's not listed. Uh, oh. Here, let me give it to you. Oh, okay. Thank you. How the hell are you such a good liar? <laughs> I don't know. Imagine when my mom watches this video. She's gonna be like, how many times has he lied to me? Shout out Jackie, my girlfriend. Now she knows how good of a liar I am. No, I'm just joking. Brian, I'm gonna call Vaughn's. Vaughn's Grocery Store, for those people who don't know. For this one, guys, my name is Eric. Wait, I was Shout gonna out say Eric that. Bledsoe. Friendly. I don't know how to pick up. What is this, a bank? Guys, this bothers me so much. I have like OCD when one of them is this way and the other is this way. One moment, please. Thank you. What is it? Hey, um, my name is Eric and I just got hired there a couple of days ago. I had a shift later tonight and I, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it tonight. So, um, Were you hired at the cause there's one by Rubio's and Taco Bell and McDonald's and Jack in the Box. Yeah. That's the one I always go okay. to, but I didn't want to work there because all my friends go there. All right. Um, give me one second to transfer you to my manager then, okay? Okay. Thank you. We are being transferred. Hey, um, I actually just got hired there a couple of days ago. My name is Eric. I had a shift later tonight, and I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, so I just wanted to call in, call out. Um, uh, Eric? Yeah, Eric. What do you do here? I got hired into the produce department just a couple of days ago. I haven't worked a day yet, so... Eric, to be honest with you, if this is me personally, if this is your first day at work, 
Yeah. I'm probably telling you to find another job. Because if you can't come to your first day at work, then... Bro, trust me. I was trying to find any way I could to make it in. But if if you want to know why I can't make it in, it's... No, that's... Aaron, that's your personal problem. I mean, what... What well, what would you do? It, this girl has an open house and she invited me to go to her house. I what do you want me? I don't want to be that guy who says, "Oh no, because I have work." It's it's just not really a good look on my end for the girl. Wait 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 hold up, Eric. You said the girl has an open house. She, the girl's by herself, parents out of town, and she asked me to go over and I have work, but I mean. Eric, really? If if I have to answer that question for you, then again, this is not the job for you. I. I mean, what would you do? I, it's been so long, I, I haven't, you know, I don't want to get into my sounds, personal... Eric, that sounds like a personal problem, but to be honest yeah. with you, I would, I would personally think that having a job is a little bit more of responsibility than going to someone's house because their parents... I'm just home. sick and tired of my right hand. It's been, you know, I don't want to get too personal, but it's been so long, and my right hand, I don't Eric, like... sorry, yeah. I can't help you, buddy. Okay. I I'll, actually, you talk some sense into me, so I'll show up. I'll show up. Thank you, Eric. Okay, no, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, that one was fucking scary. <laughs> that one was actually scary. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> he was actually getting mad. He's like, Eric, Eric, no, I can't help you with that. Okay, we'll do one more. We will do one more. Guys, I feel really bad doing this because what if these people are really busy? I don't want to be interfering with their work time. We'll call one more store. Hold on. Okay, last one, we're going to be calling Taco Bell. <sighs> Which name should I go with now? You know what? I'm Brandon. That's that's who I am. I'm Brandon today. Well, every day of my life. I am. <laughs> Um, hey, I was just wondering, can I please speak with a manager? Oh, um, well, my name is Brandon. I just got hired there a couple of days ago, and, um, I had a shift later tonight. Okay, what was your name? Brandon. Brandon? Yeah. Um, by any chance, did you mean to call the one of... I haven't hired anybody named Brandon. Um, well, I haven't worked yet. This was going to be my first day, so maybe I'm not on the schedule, or... I don't recall interviewing a Brandon at all. Yeah, I had an interview with any brother. Is it too late now to say sorry? Did you even put in an application? Yeah, no, I got hired. Maybe, hmm, that's weird. Um, and, what? So, so I don't have a job right now? That's why I'm asking, am I unemployed or? Oh, but I was on vacation, so only thing, it was supposed to be my first day back. I just came back from Ecuador. Okay guys, so that didn't go as planned. I I had a feeling that would happen once this video started, but I went three straight places where that didn't happen, so I kind of forgot about that. But you figured that would happen somewhere, so we'll go back to Subway, because she was so nice at Subway. There's a different Subway though, so hopefully they're just as nice at every Subway. I had a shift to go to later tonight, and then I don't think I'm going to be able to make it tonight, so I was just seeing if I can call in. Um, just call Larry. Do you know his phone number? Well, this is actually my first day. It was supposed to be my first day, so I don't really have anybody's phone number or anything. Okay, call me back in five minutes and uh -huh. I'll give it to you. Oh, motherfuck, Larry. Let's try one last subway. If this doesn't work out, guys, I'm gonna have to end the video. Hey, help you? Hey, um, my name is Brandon and I actually just got hired there. I had a shift to come to later tonight, but unfortunately, I don't think that I'm gonna be able to make it, so I was just trying to call in or... Mm-hmm. You know, the manager isn't here. Uh-huh. Uh, well, she's on her break. Oh, okay, honestly. Back in like 30 minutes. Well, I think honestly that's perfect because I don't I don't really want to talk to the manager like personally because I'm kind of scared. So I was hoping one of you guys could pass over the message. Uh, what was your name? My name is Brandon. Like, are you sure you're calling the right one? Yeah, I just don't want to speak with a manager personally because the reason I'm calling out is kind of like it's not really professional. So I was wondering if you guys can kind of like I don't want to say lie, but just like cover like just say that I'm sick maybe um what was it what time was the shift it was at five or six it was a later shift Brandon okay I'll let her know okay are you sure you're not gonna tell on me for the reason um it's just like one of these girls that I know has an open house, no parents, no nothing, and it's just gonna be us. And you know, you usually what happens when, you know, I don't wanna get too personal, but like, you know, the bad things that happen. The, well, not really bad, but like the, the the good things that happen. So I don't wanna be that guy who, oh, I'm sorry, I have work, I can't come to your open house. And you know, not be able to do the bad things. Okay, well, I'll let her know that uh, you won't be coming in. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she left. <laughs> I'm gonna call that person back because I just want to make sure she's not gonna tell on Brandon. Guys, imagine if there's really a Brandon that works there and he. This is. You know what, guys? This is a funny video, but I feel really bad doing it. So. 
<sighs> I don't know. At least I know I have a heart. My lips are literally the shape of the McDonald's McDonald's logo. Why? Hi, Yesenia, I just I just called. I'm the one who was not gonna be able to make it into work tonight, remember? Mm -hmm. Um, I just wanted to get two things clear. One, I'm not I'm really not a bad person because eventually when I go to a store we're gonna have to meet and I don't want you to think I'm a bad person just because of this um like you know, is that do you already think I'm a bad person or uh, no. Oh okay. And then the second thing, yeah, you shouldn't think I'm a bad person because if you were in my position a girl invites me over to her house. I've been, I don't want to, cause this is very personal, but I've been dry for a really, really long time. So I'm not going to turn this opportunity down. I just have to, I don't want to say have to, cause I'm not desperate obviously by any means, but like, you know what I mean, right? If you know, but I don't want you to think that I'm a bad person or like I'm a man whore or anything. It's just like <laughs> my right hand is, it can't do all the work. You gotta have, you gotta have some fun. I'm 21 years old and but we're cool though, no, like it's not awkward when we meet or anything, any hard no, feelings. I'm not being here, so. We work at the same oh, okay. store, so eventually we're gonna cross it. No, it'll be cool, I'll just relay your message. Okay, thank you. And not not tell on me, right? Not tell on me, right? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'm done with this video, guys. I am done. This video was, <laughs> this video was <laughs> extremely nerve wracking. I, I don't even wanna check under, cause I'm probably, no, you know what? I'm probably sweating under my armpits. I don't know if you could, see or if I could see but I'm probably sweating a little bit this was nerve-wracking all you youtubers who have done this video Ramsey you shout out to you guys because even though you're not face to face with these employees it still it still takes a lot of guts so anyways first of all shout out to my girlfriend for buying me this jacket I love it it looks nice she surprised me with this jacket shout out to Verizon I needed a new phone if you guys have been watching my videos my old phone was so Broken that I, I finally got a new phone. So shout out Verizon shout out to you guys for watching this video I really do hope you guys enjoyed, you know, I usually do vlogs challenges pranks or some reaction videos I have never done a video like this I tried my best to make these long conversations and funny and no matter how awkward they got I tried to keep them going so that you guys can enjoy this video more So I hope I did a good job with that instead of ending the conversation early So drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you want to see more of these types of videos I feel bad. What if they're okay? I do feel bad though. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and it's Friday, so go enjoy your weekend. Be safe, have fun, and once again, thank you for watching this video. I love you guys all.